my name is Dane, and this is a Dane film, as it was for many photographers who started digital. The main goal when starting out was to challenge myself with the limited amount of pictures I was given. This is easiest seen with 35mm with 36 exposures. Yeah, it's small potatoes compared to an arguably infinite amount on digital. But as you go up in the size of film format, the fewer shots you end up with, which you learn about once you step into the world of medium format. With exposures ranging from 15 with a 645 to a measly 8 exposures with a 6x9. If you've ever been disappointed by your shots on a 35mm roll, I just want you to imagine using a roll of Portra 400 for 120 on a 6x9, and then having only 1 out of 8 pictures be usable. <laughs> I still haven't recovered. But we live and we learn, and shooting medium format has grown on me more and more. Especially since I got a 6x6, uh, and I've increased my shooting capacity from 8 to 12. Still, a third of the amount of a 35, or a sixth of the amount of a half frame, but you cannot deny the quality of larger format, and it really makes you wonder. <clears throat> oh yeah, this video is about a, a circus. Uh, remember when I said I liked medium format because it makes me more critical of the pictures I take? Well, I sort of blew this roll of Sinistil 800T in one night. And as of writing this video, I still haven't seen if any of them turned, so let's just see if it paid off. <laughs> so cute. When Jolene and I planned to go to the circus, I knew I wanted to use Cinestill 800T for all the artificial lighting. The issue, however, was the lighting, which was sporadic and darker than I anticipated. I don't know why I thought the paranormal circus would have I don't know, consistent lighting. I'm guessing my mindset was a little too the greatest showman. And because of the flashing lights, it was difficult to gauge what my settings should be. It's a general rule of thumb to lean into the highlights, so I felt more obligated to use a lower shutter speed. And yeah, I wish I didn't. Most of these shots are a little too overexposed, believe it or not, and because I used a low shutter speed, it's it's blurry. <laughs> I would say this whole night made for a great learning experience. And another example of the importance of managing your expectations for your photos. It is geared towards film users more, but being able to accept your bad pictures along with the bangers is, in my opinion, a very healthy mindset. We are using a dead medium, and with it, we take on all the risks and reap all the reward that comes with doing so. It's more likely than not that most of your pictures aren't going to be what you had in mind or what you had hoped. But as you keep taking pictures, you'll come to appreciate what was, and what wasn't. By the way, that Greatest Showman line was written before I got my roll back, and looking at it now, this shot is as Greatest Showman as I could've gotten. If you don't mind all the demon stuff. Where is the one way? Where is the one way? <laughs> what is the one way?